Perry Pencil. Hello, this is Perry Pencil, and today I'm going to show you how to draw the female body. Let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and let you know right away, those that you are watching this video, that we're using six heads. All right, so what I usually do, and you can follow this um, format. I've already uh, done how to draw a male body. Um, you can click on that. And um, let's go ahead and begin. So what I normally do is just draw six ovals. Of course, for females, um, it's less heads. Usually for male, I usually do seven and a half heads. And for superhero, eight heads. So we got our oval here. Let's count them. Two, three, four, five, and then six. Okay, now once you have your six uh, heads drawn in, I'm gonna go ahead and use my ruler. All right, now once you have your lot, your guidelines down and your six heads down, um, I usually go ahead and number them. So I usually just put in one, two, three, four five and six and then I usually move over to the center right and then I just put a dividing line down the center all right now we begin drawing our female so the first thing of course you want to start with a head and just put an oval shape in. Once you've done that, you can put an oval right underneath uh, the oval, a smaller one for the neck. Then you can measure it by coming in between here and putting a oval for her body. And right beneath that, you want to put in almost like a rectangular shape, which would be a box for her waist. And then you can come straight down to the bottom of the page for her legs. Her legs are going to be together. We're going to go ahead on and, and work on the top portion where her arms are going to be. Her arms are going to be out to the side. So put two circles on either side next to the oval here and then just draw a line here, here, and then here, out to the side, just like this. Now, you, what's happening is you're, look, you're looking at a rough mannequin, and so we're gonna go ahead and work on that and build it up. So, let's start with her head. We're gonna come straight across where her eyes are gonna be, and I'll always put in a temple line, just like this. And then you can go ahead and begin putting her eyes, her eyebrows in. I usually come off the edge here of the temple line and come down to the center. Do the same thing for the left side. And we're not uh, going for uh, crazy detail. We're just getting the point across of how to draw the female. So when you're drawing the eyes, you can just come in like this, angle it, and just bring it down just like that. Do the same thing for her left side. Get rid of this spot here. And for her nose for now, let's just put a small little indication of an oval shape here. And then for her lips, I like these characters smiling, so you just put like a little smile here for now. We'll go back later and worry about everything else. Let's go ahead and get her head shape in. So you want to come right near the eyes, not too close. And then you want to bring the bottom of her chin in just like this. Do the same thing for her left side. And bring that in. And you want to try and make the female's uh, jawline be a little rounder and softer. So it's not too hard and chill like the average superhero characters. And then we're gonna bring it up 
and around like this. You can come up past the top of the line here so we can have the top of our head in. And then we'll create our hairline. So for our hairline, we can come in just above the eyebrows, right about here. And then just have a bang come down like this. And then have the other one come down like this. And you can just come up just a little bit above where the head is, almost near the edge of the page. And I want her hair to be shorter length, so you can just have it come around like this. And then put the parties here, come around the other side, and like that. Now I'm gonna move on down a little bit. Uh, let's go with her neck, right where I have these ovals, the oh, sorry, one oval, I'm sorry. And put the two lines in for the neck. And for the shoulder, we're gonna come on out. Her shoulder is not broad. And just have this, the line coming over just like this. Now, because I do have her eyes open, I don't wanna leave out the detail of her eyes just a little bit. You can make her eyelashes a little thicker. Because she's a female, their eyelashes should be thicker. And let's go ahead and I usually put a little line and a half to divide and put the eyes in, just like this. Same thing here. Now for her nose, I'm just gonna come in from the outside and then come down just like that. And her lips, I usually say, just put like a little M there, a very small M, and then leave the bottom lip just like it is. And then for the corners of her mouth, you can put little dots there. And let's go ahead and make her eyebrows a little darker a little more pronounced so that you can see them. All right. All right, now moving back to her her body. Um, so for the top portion, where number two is, we're gonna come straight across here, put a line here for her chest. And we can just come around like this. And what I usually like to do is almost do greater than and less than signs. So they're kind of like two arcs that come into each and facing each other, just like this. Let's put our shoulder blades in. Now for her waist, of course she's a female, so we're gonna come in just like this. Just two simple lines. And then for her waist, it's gonna come out like this. So the difference, of course, between a female and male, their waist, uh, the female's waist is always thinner. Now, I'm gonna stop for a moment because for the legs and the arms, there's a little bit more structure involved. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can put the ovals here. And then what I normally like to do is put cylinders where the arms are gonna be, or where the arms are. That way you have a better understanding of how they work. And then as you see, I have a cylinder here and then the cylinder here for the forearm. Come right here to where the wrist is gonna be. Put the wrist there. I'm gonna do the same thing for her right arm. Let's go ahead and put the cylinder in and, and talk a little bit more. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about where these lines are in relation to the others because as you see, they match up and you can kind of look at the lines and their guidelines to make things even. And if you notice, I have this here, so I know that it's gonna stop about here. And for, as far as her hand is concerned, you can have it come down just like this, two simple lines, draw like a box. As you see to match it up with the lines, I have them bleeding past this line just a little bit. As far as the fingers go, we'll add that. You see, now I'll add it now. So for the thumb, we should put thumb here, like so. And do the same thing on this side, a little circle here, and put a thumb here. And just to be on the safe side, you can always take your pencil, check it. And then, as far as her fingers is concerned, you can have those come out like this. And it would be a simple shape. The index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky's gonna be hidden. Same thing over here. <clears throat> you want your index, middle, ring, and then the pinky is hidden. 
Let's check that one more time so it's not drastically different and it looks good. Now, as far as her legs, I usually do cylinders here or almost like a bikini cut. So you put ovals on either side. You're almost like creating uh, shorts. And then for her legs, you can have them come in like this. they will also be some cylinders. Have them come in and together. You can stop them about right here. And then the knees are gonna go here. And then we have the calf come in here. Same thing for, for the left side. I have too many lines here, let me clean this up a bit. All right. And then you put the circle here for where her feet's gonna be. And have her foot come down like this and out to the side. Alright, so now it's time to dress everything up. So let's go ahead and thing with her hair a little bit. Um, now for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, Tom Lex and I'm going to shade the hair in and then add some minor detail here. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead on and add some detail here. So for the arms you just want to outline it and because we're drawing a, uh, a female, we want her to be feminine, so we don't want her muscular. We don't want her muscular, so we're just gonna go ahead on and add just simple lines. It's gonna curve in for a forearm, just like this. And then do the same thing for her left arm. Straight lines is what we're going for. We don't wanna have too many curves going on or muscles like she working out at the gym. Uh, so let's go ahead on and just outline this. So for the thumb, I'm just keeping simple shapes. And for our fingers doing the same thing. And the idea is just to get the simple understanding of how to lay out the figure and anatomy and use the eight heads, or excuse me, to use the six heads rather. Um, to measure by the height of the female. All right, and what I'm gonna do is put a halter top in and some shorts. And let's just pretend it's summertime or summer season. And let's put a little indentation of a line here the armpit and have her hold the top come down like this we'll just put a simple line here and then come across the top just like this and then just two two lines for indication that she's wearing a shirt and then down in this section you put a simple line here And then we create some shorts. And put some loops here where your belt will be. And then have this line come down like this, where the zipper would be. And then let's roll them up. Put some pockets on there. And then of course, let's get that belt buckle in there. I put a loop in the center, let's correct that. And just make a simple square. And then, some minor detail on her legs. And put some of her knees in here, just Little indications. If you notice, 
I'm dropping simple lines in here. You don't have to go too crazy and overcomplicate your drawings. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some sneakers on her. You just simply put simple lines here. And they're kind of like the slot ones. Comfortable sneakers that people usually wear during the summertime. You don't have to lace them up or anything. All right, and so if you've drawn along with me up to this point, you've just drawn the female body. And what I'm gonna do is just uh, do some minor corrections uh, erase some unwanted lines, and then at the end you can pause it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by pressing this round button at the bottom. Also, click on one of the two top videos at the top. Please like this video, tell a friend, and share it on Facebook. Thank you. Perry Pencil.